Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure Notification Hub in the Azure portal. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and first of all we will create a namespace and a notification hub. So in the all services section, if I go there, I click on all services. And you all know that mobile apps, API apps and the web apps use the same structure or the same backend from the Azure side. It's just that the icons, the naming convention and how to create them is different for every application that we are configuring in terms of mobile app, web app, API app, function app. So you would find the notification hub under the mobile section because we are pushing our notifications to the mobile services. You see, we have app services, notification hubs and the power platform. So we'll use the notification hub, create notification hub, or you can click on add, enter a name in the notification hub. So you will create a new namespace. I do not have an existing namespace. So this namespace can contain one or more hubs. So let it be location. You can select any location as you want. East US. Create new. Notification lab. So it will be easier for me to delete these resources because I will go ahead and delete this resource group. Subscription, this is pricing tier. I'm gonna go with free. Let me check if I can go. What are the options here? Options is 1 million include pushes, 500 active devices, 10 million included pushes, 10 million included pushes, 10 million. That much. So let's go with the free version. Click on create. Resource has been created. I'm going to click on go to resource. Come on. Here it is. Now I'm going to see that settings it is for Apple, Google, Windows, Windows Phone, Amazon, Baidu. Every single platform is available here. So you will select the access policies from the list. So these are the two signatures or the, these are two connection strings that are available to us and we will need them later to handle the push notifications. And let's say you have created, so this is the namespace and this is the notification hub that I am using. So you can go here, click on all services, notification hubs. This is the notification hub in your this namespace. And if you want to create one more notification hub in an existing namespace, this is my namespace. Click on add. And when you will be creating a new notification hub, you will be selecting as create namespace here. You should select existing resource group. Here it is. And then you will click cancel it. see you get the namespace here select it so that this notification hub also would be available in your existing namespace i hope this was informative to all of you in the next section we will see the dashboard and a few of the settings that are needed to configure a notification hub with the pns settings then next time have a great day bye, -bye.